Hey, Bears fans, before we jump into Chicago Bears now, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a follow on Instagram. It's at HGramNFL. You can see it right there. Link will be in the comments and description of this video. Uh, I'm posting short-form content over there almost every single day. Uh, would appreciate your love and support. Trying to get to 7,500 followers ASAP. We're at 7,288. So if you want to show a brother some love, hit me with a follow at HGramNFL on Instagram. Today's episode of Chicago Bears Now, I am Harrison Graham. We got three Bears extension candidates that I want to discuss and whether or not Chicago should extend them right now, as in before training camp. So let's jump on in. Number one, the guy who's been talked about a lot is Keenan Allen. He's talked about it. Um, reporters have talked about it. We've talked about it some on this show. And it, it's an interesting discussion to have for a lot of reasons. Now, a reason this kind of became a big talking point is, well, he reportedly signed with Clutch Sports, fired his old agents, signed with Clutch. Uh, we know they're not taking discounts unless uh, their client instructs them to do so. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I don't think it's crazy likely that an extension would happen right now. Now, Keenan Allen, during, I think, mini camp when he spoke to the media, had this to say when asked about his future. Uh, he said, I'm going to play as long as I can. As far as an extension, I'm going to let the play speak for itself. And if they offer me something that I like, we'll go from there. I'm just going to go out there, do what I always do, remain who I am. And the market just got reset, which drew some laughter from the reporters. And he's absolutely right. Like He's paying attention. His agents are as well. And he probably looks at this top 10 highest paid from Justin Jefferson down to DK Metcalf says, yeah, I'm probably better than some of those guys. I, I, I should make more than uh, $24, $25 million per year. Now, a big difference between he and most of the guys on this list is he's 32. A lot of these guys are entering or are in their prime, so that certainly p plays a role as well. But I think Keenan understands that. Like, hey, I'm trying to cash in one more time, man. Like, I don't think he's stupid. I don't think he thinks he's – a, getting some five-year, hundred-and-whatever-million-dollar deal. He probably knows two-, three-year deal, big money, and then that's probably the last big contract he's going to get. But listen, this guy's still on top of his game. Like, in 13 games last year, he almost averaged 100 yards a game. <laughs> and, and he could have played all 17. If the Chargers were in contention, he said he would have played, but they shut him down because they were so far out of it. Uh, I would make a pretty strong argument. He's still a top-10 receiver in this league. Top 15 at worst. Like, he, he's a Pro Bowl caliber guy that would fight for second team all pro if he has a fully healthy season. I, I really think that's possible. Now, what will his numbers look like this year? Playing in a crowded offense with DJ Moore. You've got Roma Dunze now. Cole Komet, Gerald Everett at tight end. Swift out of the backfield. Like, a team that still wants to be balanced, whereas with the Chargers, A, they were losing a lot, so they're throwing the ball a shit ton late in games, and B, uh, the run game at times kind of just wasn't a big deal, whereas in Chicago, you know it is. Um, the problem for Keenan Allen and for Chicago specifically is he's going to be 32 this year, which means he'll be 32 the next season, which is after this year. And you drafted Roma Dunze. So uh, as good as he is, is extending him now a wise move? Like, I, I don't know. If it's team friendly, if it's a one or two year deal at 25 or less, yes. But is he going to offer you that? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's the case. Like, I'm not paying top dollar in three plus years for a guy who's 32, and you've got for sure one other high level receiver and a guy you really believe in and a, and a rookie in Roma Dunze. Like, you can just got to play this out. What would you do? Would you extend Keenan Allen right now? Like, would you try to lock him up before training camp? Unless it's a one- or two-year deal at a reasonable number, I, I just – I'm typing my W for weight. E for extend, W for weight. Like, I I, I just I, – I'm not doing it. I'm not doing Keenan Allen right now uh, if I am um, the uh, Chicago Bears. So, uh, we'll have to wait and uh, see. E for extend or W for weight when it comes to Keenan Allen. Again, if I'm the Bears, if I'm Ryan, P Ryan Poles, I I'm just going to play this out a bit. Like, you don't have to force the issue right now. I and I don't want this to come across as I don't want Keenan Allen to be here beyond this year. In a perfect world, he is. I mean, I would love multiple years of D 
DJ, Keenan, and Rome. But you're building an entire football team. If Rome Adunze goes out there and is awesome this year, and Keenan Allen wants $30 million, probably not going to give it to him. So play this year out. Even if he's only here one year, you can play the comp pick formula game. If he leaves in free agency the following year, you get a third or fourth round comp pick in return in a future draft. You paid a fourth for him. So like essentially you got a free year out of him. So I'd play this out and then be open-minded either later in the season or after 2024. We'll go to the next candidate here, DJ Moore. That is a different story for me. I would not uh, be opposed to doing DJ Moore right now because he is a fantastic uh, player and he's still young. Like, Keenan Allen, again, is 32. DJ Moore is a player entering his prime. So that is a different story for me. Now, it's different because he's got two years left on his deal at a very cost-controlled number, whereas, you know, these other receivers who just signed big deals were entering the last year of their deal or were set to be free agents, whatever the case may be. But to me, DJ Moore is a br bigger priority than Keenan Allen. Number one, you invested more in him. He was a part of a trade that featured a number one overall pick. Number two, he's 26-27 instead of 32. And number three... His arrow is still pointing up, theoretically. Keenan Allen's probably is not. You look at Moore's remaining contract, $16 million, $16 million free agent. I've argued this is the best contract in the NFL right now. He's a top 7, 8, 10 receiver, and he's making, like, top 18 receiver money. Like, it's a really, really good deal. Again, you look back at this list, it's like he's a bargain right now, and you have him for two more years, and I could understand, ah, I'm playing out at least one more year, if not two, uh, at that cost. But at the same time, you've got some cap wiggle room right now. I would try to lock DJ Moore in. If you can extend Moore at $30 million per year or less, I think it's kind of a no-brainer because you could morph the final two years of his current contract and kind of turn it into a five-year deal. Like he could have a five-year contract tomorrow of $125 million, which is only twenty-five per year. That's the beauty of doing it now with two years left on his deal. You could guarantee him $85 million, which would be, I think, third most guarantees among receivers. Um, but from a team standpoint, you could kind of balance it out, $25 million per year. And by the way, this is giving him more than 30 per year. This would be adding three years and $93 million to his current two years and 32 – or yeah, two for 32. That adds up to five for 125. Like, if I can get that done – I'm doing that because I have high faith that DJ Moore is going to be very productive for at least three or four more years. Five-year deal, that's kind of standard, right? Like by the fifth year, you could probably get out of the deal if you wanted to. So uh, I would look into that. I would like to do that if I was Chicago. Um, I don't know if they will. Um, not many guys get extensions with two years left on their deals, but I think this is a rare case where uh, I would heavily consider it. Who do you guys think is the bigger priority for the Bears right now? Type DJ for DJ Moore, KA for Keenan Allen. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. DJ for DJ Moore or KA for Keenan Allen. I'm trying to pay DJ now, man. Get this done. Like, he's not a diva. I don't think you're going to have to go crazy at 35 per year. Now, maybe him and his agent are like, ah, we're just going to play this year out, let the costs go up. That could certainly happen, but... He seems to be happier. You show him three for 93 extension. I mean, shoot, let's, let's lock that in. All right, last one is Tevin Jenkins here. Tevin Jenkins is uh, – he's a tough one. Um, no extension is imminent per him. He told reporters at minicamp, he was asked about it. He's like, yeah, we approached the Bears, me and my reps, and uh, they basically were like – uh, nothing's on the table right now. Like, that was the phrase he used. So, as of then, which was a few weeks ago, they were not interested in an extension. And I get it. Th this one's a tough call. Like, it's it's kind of like the Keenan one. It's a tough call, but for a different reason. Like, Keenan's tough because he's a little older. He drafted Rome. You got to pay DJ. How do you want to use your resources? Tevin's tough because it's like he's, he's, on one hand, he's a really good player. When he's out there, right? Like PFF is in, is one of the better guards in the league the last couple of years, especially as a run blocker. Guy is just dominant. Just gets out in space and pancakes people. Gets beat occasionally uh, 
in the as a pass blocker, but I you know I've made the argument at times he looks like a top ten guard for sure top twenty uh, when you combine right and left guards in this league. But then on the other hand, while on one hand he's a really good player when healthy, the other hand is the when healthy part. Like he's missed a lot of football. He's missed uh, twenty games in three years. Um, last two years have been better, four and five. You know, offensive linemen typically don't play all 17 games. Only the rare ones do. But you'd like to be in that more 14, 15, 16 game realm. He's kind of been in that 12 game realm the last two years, 13. First year's a bit of a pass. He had a surgery and all those 11 games were on the front end of the season. But still, he hasn't put together even a, you know, 80 plus percent healthy season. So I think it's a big year for him. Um, if they weren't interested then, I don't think it, I don't think anything's going to change before training camp unless Jenkins reps propose some crazy team friendly deal. But <clears throat> I don't think they're going to do that either. So I think uh, this is probably just a play it out situation. What do you guys think? Is Tevin Jenkins is this going to be his last year in Chicago? Certainly could be. Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Give us your thoughts down in the comments. And I would play this year out. Like I, I would like Tevin to be here long term. Uh, but uh, I actually – this one more than it, the other two is way more defendable from the Bears' standpoint. It's like, yo, like, you've had injuries. We didn't draft you as a regime. Let's play this out a little bit. Now, if you're Tevin, you're like, ah, eh, your interior kind of sucks if I'm not there. Center position's a mess. Nate Davis hasn't worked out. Like, Tevin's clearly the best interior lineman you got, and – Arguably your best overall lineman right now. Darn all right, though. He'll probably surpass him at some point, ideally. Uh, but uh, I'm playing this year out. Uh, curious to see what you guys would do. All right, that's going to do it for our extension candidates video. If there's anyone else thinking about it. I thought about putting Khalil Herbert in there, but it's like he's not even a starter anymore. So, um, you know, if he's here beyond this year, I don't think they're going to extend him. I think that's pretty clear. So uh, hit that sub button, turn on notice. More to come here on the channel.